I have been told to make a one slide presentation and this is what my presentation slide looks like. Uh, generally, we love to make a, a, a PowerPoint slide with lots of bullet points and more text. So this is not just my story. This is with everyone. We all love to use the bullet points to make our slides. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can transform this boring presentations into more meaningful and more creative one so let me just show you how it looks so as you can see here this is the basic slides generally we all make so i'm going to show you how we can transform this one so you can see here the next slide where i've put the option one i've used some kind of a more colorful uh, rectangles here with icons titles and detailed text along with some shadow effect and when I click, it will show me the option two with some different color combination, option three, four, and five. So you can see here how I have used these five options from this to this. Please share, like, and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates, absolutely free. And I have provided the link on the video description section of each video. And you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. So add a new slide, then go to the insert shapes. From the rectangles, I'm going to choose a rectangle which is rounded corner. Just click it here and then make the height and width as 2.75. And if you want, you can reduce the curves at the corner by dragging this outside and then exactly place it here shape outline i'm going to make it no outline and fill color you can fill any color of your choice so i'm just keeping this color right mouse click go to the format shape and here go to the effects under the shadow i'm going to the presets and from the presets i'm going to choose which is offset bottom left and you can increase the distance the size okay so if you see here i'm just increase the distance all right and then you can increase the blur size as well so it should be less blur you can see here it is less blur all right then once this is done go to the insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the old shape just click it here and this one make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to fill this with white color and you can give the shadow effect for this as well so go to the effects shadows and for this i'm going to give which is offset bottom right again if you want you can increase the distance of this and i'm going to place it here now this particular uh, background if you like to change you can give some different background so you can go and select the gradient fill so by default here i have used in my previous slide that's the reason it is showing here but you can just give any color of your choice and here the type i have used the radial and then the direction I have put it from the center okay so any uh, gradient color you can fill it here okay again if you want to increase the size you can hold the shift key and you can increase the size as well so once this is done we need to add some options here so here you can see here I'm going to put option number one the icon the title and the detail text okay so first of all go to the insert text box here I'm going to type option or you can type step or whatever make it the font open sans all right center align reduce the font size and put it here again if you want you can make it bold also or you can make it like a semi bold all right and then put it exactly here press ctrl d and here i'm going to make this as 01 option number 01 open sans i'm going to make it extra bold and increase the size you can see here maybe 36 and i'm going to keep it here and again you can just choose the same color what the color we have used in the background so this green color i'm going to put it here and once this is done go to the insert go to the icons and here i'm going to insert icons related to the my requirement so uh, i'm going to choose this icon click insert and i'm going to reduce the height and width to 0.6 and i'm going to make this as white and put it here at the top right then go to the insert text box you can add the title 
again i'm going to make it open sans extra bold the title center align white font again if white is not visible you can give any other font color and then go to insert text box i'm going to say equals lorem within brackets one and here i don't want this much large text i'm going to cut some of it center align reduce the font size if you want you can make it white all right and then i'm going to just place it here okay if you want you can increase the size also you can see here i've just increased the size and put it here so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to group this one first this is this uh, option one and then the oval shape i'm going to highlight and select and press ctrl g to group it okay and then i'm going to select this one the rectangle the title and the detail text and press ctrl g to group it this will come front just go to the graphic format and then send this to back so you can see here this is my option so now for this i can give some animation effects and then we can duplicate this depending on my requirement okay for that go to the animations enable the animation pane for this select this add animation go to the more entrance effects i'm going to select basic zoom click ok and basic zoom should come from out okay it comes something like this and here also i'm going to select the same animation which is the basic zoom click ok this should no change here only thing is you have to make this is with previous so if i play it comes something like this you can see here all right now it's time for me to duplicate this select both of this shape hold the control shift key bring it here hold the control shift key bring it here now you can press control d bring one here and again hold the control shift key and drag and drop it here so this is my option number two now this is my option number three my option number four and my option number five now depending on the requirement i can just select this one go to the shape format and i can go to the shape fill and i can give any color of my choice and here also i'm going to give the same color the blue color here all right so now i'm going to select this one i'm going to give a different color combination i can give a purple here and here also i can just go go to the home and give the purple all right then here you don't need to go to the shape format even in the home as well you can just go here under drawings shape fill i'm going to give a kind of uh, say red and here also the same color i'm going to use which is red here and then the last one again i'm going here and maybe i'm going to give a darker green here and here also the same color i'm going to apply so you can see here option one two three four five now if you want to change the icons select the icons go to the graphic format change graphic from icons and you can just choose any icon of your choice again make sure that it should be relevant okay so i'm going to choose in this case some apple click insert so icon got changed so the same thing i'm going to do it here change graphics from icons and you can just choose any icon so i'm going to choose maybe a kind of this and click insert likewise you can just change the icons for this as well so now if i play you can see here my option number one option two option three option four and option five so you can compare how we have transferred the slide which looks something like this to like this 